Hello, uh, my name is Matt Heaton, and I am here to talk to you about how not to suck at Irish rhythm guitar. Now, the purpose of this video is this. If you are a guitar player, and you have been asked, maybe you have a, a friend who plays fiddle, and that friend said, hey, would you play some Irish music with me? And you say, sure, that seems fun, but I have no idea what I'm doing. This is a video just to help you avoid a couple common pitfalls that people coming from other styles of music often have when they, when they approach Irish music. It is by no means meant to be exhaustive at all. This is like, you know, a short, dirty little, uh, little primer. So I'm going to talk first about the right hand, then about the left hand, okay? So for the right hand, there are... Uh, two really big types of tunes that, that, that make up a lot of the repertoire. There are reels and there are jigs. Reels are kind of in four. They're kind of like a ducka 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 And jigs are kind of like have a, have a three or a six. Ducka dee 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 duck. All right. The one word that I want you to think of when you're when you're in your right hand for your rhythm is smooth. Okay, uh, you don't want to go boom chuck boom chuck boom chuck boom chuck boom chuck boom chuck boom. No, for a reel you want to go more like think of a think of a train. Chuck a 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 chuck. Dink a 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 dink a
removing the thirds from a lot of the chords as a, as a starting place. So in this case, you got the this and this. So I'm going to get rid of that and play that. Which sounds a little more driving. So um, the fingering from the bottom up. Three, then muted. O, O, three, three. Okay, then for your C chord, it's easy. You just lift up that middle finger and put it on the fifth string. So it's um, three, O, O, three, three. G, C. And then the D chord, it's kind of like your normal D chord, but don't play that top string. Like I'm not just avoiding that note. I'm not. There's your key of G. Your key of D. Start off with that same D chord. Avoid that, that note. Then you can play the same G chord. Hey, you know that one already. And for an A chord, I kind of play like a one finger thing where it's O, two, two, mute, mute. Kind of, I, I don't, I, I sort of just play a sloppy little thing so that I'm mainly hearing this, but. So I'm not hearing you know, the, big, the big A7 or anything. So those are two major chords. Minor keys in Irish music, uh, E minor and A minor are the most common. You play the minor chord, uh, E minor, and then you play a chord below it, like a D chord. So the chords in for an E minor tune, you're mostly going to be playing E minor and D. For an A minor tune, mostly A minor and G. Uh, here is a good uh, E minor trick. Um, okay, so this is uh, from the bottom bottom up. It's O seven nine nine O O. Okay, E minor, so, and technically it's not really E minor. It's just kind of an E power chord. And then you slide that down two frets for a D chord. It's a D over an E, but it sounds nice in the in the context of a minor. You know? uh, and then for the A minor, you can do the same thing, although you have to adapt the fingering a little bit because you know the guitar is tuned weird. So you take that E that E chord, lift it up and move it over one string, and then you need to make the pinky go up one fret. So Bottom to top, it's mute the low E, then open, seven, nine, ten, open. And that gives you a lovely A chord, it's minor or major, there's no third in it. And then to get the G, you can slide down two frets. So it's the same, same thing as you did in the E minor. So, uh, if you want to dig deeper into this stuff, uh, there are a bunch of videos uh, on, on this channel where you can, it's the backer corner, and you can look, there's, you know, each one tends to be a, a bit of a deeper dive into a specific topic. Um, and the most important thing, the most important thing, if you want to play Irish music, listen to a bunch of it. Just get it in your ear, you know, listen to, listen to bands, listen to solo players, listen to duos, whatever. Just try to, like, the more you listen to it, um, the more these things will, will sort of become intuitive and make sense. All right, so I hope this is helpful, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Now, go out there and go out there and avoid sucking. Thanks. <laughs>